uh, and uh, at least some reference to your affiliation or cult uh, context or background. Where do you come from next to your either username or, or the real name? Uh, so why am I showing the graphics of, of Sex Pistols, the famous uh, punk group? Uh, because a few days ago, uh, the author of this graphics uh, and prominent designer, Jamie Reed, died. And he was one of the uh, maybe most prominent uh, designers of that era, of that uh, particular cultural movement uh, uh, that was introduced mainly through the work of this uh, punk rock band, but also through other work and became uh, a kind of a, a legendary uh, artist, graphic designer that is now featured in many collections. And as you can see, has uh, 11 Wikipedia pages, uh, uh, is part of uh, databases of, of prominent uh, institutions like Tate, uh, MoMA, uh, VNA, and Europeana, uh, uh, Meta collections, and so on forth. Uh, what is interesting uh, about this is that he came from the uh, kind of underground uh, movement, came as an outsider, as an anarchist, uh, kind of radical person who uh, became part of the mainstream uh, culture, recognized as, as, as someone who has developed a particular visual language and who has produced uh, kind of significant uh, contribution to the field of uh, visual art and design. Uh, so if I ask you now, if you would, do you listen to independent music uh, and do you know of, of bands that are equally, uh, that have started uh, equally independently in, in uh, unknown, under uh, visible, uh, prominent kind of uh, uh, areas? Uh, everyone would say at least that they know at least few bands, even if they are not diehard uh punk or, or techno or whichever enthusiasts uh but uh, they likely know at least some bands that are worth mentioning and that are worth um wikipedia articles what is interesting that this uh wikidata item for independent music uh was created long ago so there is a very well kind of established uh, interest uh, in this field and this is something that is kind of uh, common knowledge that it needs to be mapped that it's encyclopedic knowledge so it was in, in Wikidata it was created by bot in, in 2012 but it already had many independent uh, Wikipedia articles before Wikidata uh, was picking up this particular set of, of uh, Wikipedia articles to connect them. What is less obvious and, and less uh, prominent is the field of independent culture. So when you, when you discuss independent film, independent music, people will uh, say, oh, this is super common. This, this needs to be part of uh, Wikipedia and Wikidata. But for independent culture, which is a more general term, there was no so, so, such interest and me as a Wikimedia contributor who looks into this field particularly was surprised that in 2001 there was still no Wikidata item so I created one at the, uh, November 13th thinking okay this is really something that needs to be done uh, urgently and it needs to be done by by multiple people and and contribute, uh, that contributions need to be more systematic. So uh, aside from starting this particular uh, uh, item and trying to add independent contributors, I started 
Uh, just a second. Uh, I started creating a kind of a discourse uh, around this. That is a discourse of uh, uh, looking at culture through non-glamorous lens. So uh, Wikimedia had this problem uh, historically that it came from the uh, kind of heritage of, of traditional uh, uh, encyclopedic publications that was looking primarily into traditional historic cultures, not into contemporary cultures. And it was connecting also to institutional knowledge, starting most often with uh, high level institutions that are part of glam networks that are either galleries, libraries, uh, archives or museums, uh, and most often neglecting uh, culture and arts produced independently or produced in what is called the civil sector, uh, the culture that is not yet there in, inside of the mainstream uh, institutions. Uh, it's interesting to note that 20 years ago, when the open movement was starting uh, on web in, in large scale with Wiki, uh, Wikimedia or Wikipedia and, and uh, creative commons, this was not the case. For example, there were, there were a lot of connections in between uh, independent cultural workers, independent artists, and especially creative commons. Maybe not so much Wikipedia, but there were some. So in past uh, three years, I've been working in this particular field. I had a, a few collaborators in different configurations of projects that were all super small uh, kind of experimental projects uh, in Croatia when we were documenting 20 years of independent uh, cultural network called Klapture, uh, but also uh, internationally uh, where I was joined by a few prominent Wikimedians and podcasters to do something about Pixel X uh, festival and, and this idea of uh, documenting new media um, festivals and independent culture internationally. This was presented uh, in past two years in, in, in a Ohrid uh, CE meeting and in uh, uh, Piazma uh, Museum of uh, Helsinki. So what, how and for whom is non-institutional, non glamorous uh, culture. Um, so it is primarily the culture that lives outside of well-established galleries, libraries, archives, museums. Uh, this uh, still means that uh, it is connected to open glam movements, it is still connected to uh, creative commons, that is still connected to glam wiki initiatives, but it is uh, focusing on individual uh, practitioners and not on institutional connections. It's connected to, to small organizations, to initiatives, and not to those so-called uh, low-hanging fruits that are so common uh, in Wikimedia movement. So uh, in, in past uh, three years. Um, I've done these experiments across different projects, uh, starting with Wikipedia, but actually not spending so much time there, mostly focusing on Wikidata Commons and the new project, uh, which is called, uh, um, well, new project, new project uh, in, in development, which is called Wikispore. I can maybe advertise Wikispore again. If you are there in person in Singapore, you can maybe talk to uh, Richard and Gergo about how to join Wikispore for experimental projects like this. What is super important uh, about this topic is that um, I think it connects really closely to what uh, infrastructural aspirations of uh, Wikidata inside of the Wikimedia movement. 
So Wikidata wants to create uh, more decentralized, more independent uh, content hosts through different wiki bases that federate. Uh, and this totally would make sense with content that is not so focused on, on uh, Wikipedia, but actually uh, focused on, on media recordings and, and data, open data recordings. It's also important that this project is, is, is uh, or, or these uh, projects are produced in, in decentralized way and to help diversify existing uh, work in Wikimedia. Most of the work in Wikimedia is nominally uh, diverse, is nominally decentered, but actually there are a lot of roadblocks if you want to contribute content that is not uh, popular and inside of the mainstream publications. And whoever works in small Wikipedia, they can confirm the same. Uh, so yeah, I would, uh, this, this was uh, the first project I did that was uh, doing primarily uh, NGOs. There were around uh, 50 NGOs uh, that are uh, members of, of Clubture network. Uh, another 20 or 30 were uh, formerly members. Each year this uh, network supports uh, five or six uh, totally new projects and then five or six uh, uh, projects that were done by existing members. It is very uh, participation and open culture focused uh, network. So although it doesn't focus on, on uh, new media exclusively uh, and in production of media, it does uh, use some of these uh, ethical and met methodological approaches. Uh, we were mostly busy with correcting and filling the info gaps, uh, getting media permissions uh, to get the, these first initial publishings uh, of, of all the entities, to have uh, first categories, to have organizations adopt CNC licensing uh, for uh, their future work, and to create some um, umbrella articles about independent cultural scene uh, in Croatia. So we were offering to, to put uh, information into database. We thought this would be too much to ask for, for people who are already struggling with resources and, and time and people, and, and upload it and link it uh, in between Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons, and Wikidata and then offer education and support how they could update and maintain this. We came across multiple uh, problems uh, that would be probably common on many uh, different um, Wikipedias uh, of smaller languages that uh, existing admins or oversighters were, were thinking that this is not relevant enough or this is uh, content that is not uh, uh, well articulated because they didn't uh, come across it, they didn't see it on, on TV or, or in mainstream uh, press, uh, and there was lack of uh, academic research. However, most of these organizations do have uh, very prominent uh, social media accounts, they have a lot of visibility in public space, like they produce a lot of posters, flyers uh, among youth, the new generation of people who go to concerts, to go to festivals and, and exhibitions. They have um, really big visibility. The problem is most small Wikipedias don't have the same uh, category of people contributing. Uh, yeah. I'm going to skip a few things because we are running out of time. I would love if you could, uh, yeah, one of the biggest problems was that our ecosystem of Wikimedia is super complex. To, so to explain someone how to contribute where and, and when and how to manage resources is, is almost impossible. One of the biggest issues is, is communication across different channels. 
that we basically assume everyone is using Telegram, that people know how to uh, respond and, 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 and how to read our terminology, how to read our slang, and that their language skills are uh, high and they, they are willing to communicate on this uh, level of expertise. So uh, what I'm proposing now is basically uh, for you to think about the content discrepancy we have been creating for 20 years, just focusing on this low hanging uh, fruits that was mostly heritage of uh, US institutions because there was a lot of access in, in big US institutions to, to uh, for Wikipedians to go to uh, and consider in other countries, in other contexts, uh, what are the smaller NGOs and, and, and what are the smaller entities that need to be covered and, and maybe uh, uh, try to do them, although they are much more uh, wild and, and, and uh, less accessible as, as fruits. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, user commitment, uh, there is there is a problem uh, that many um, admins on, on smaller projects uh, have this benevolent uh, attitude toward content that is marginalized, and then in the same time we have contributors that are over committing. Uh, in, in contributions to the projects and think that the projects are kind of owned and they have to take care of them uh, fully and whatever is, is marginalized, ma marginal uh, needs to be uh, extra carefully uh, uh, selected or, or, or has to be taken off. Uh, so, one of the biggest issues uh, when we're, we're doing Wikipedia is that some basic articles, like the, the notion of community, for example, didn't even exist in Croatian Wikipedia. Like you would be able, you, you would not be able to explain a notion of participation or, or uh, community cultural production uh, if you don't have these articles. Uh, yeah, what I'm uh, kind of uh, focusing now and trying to, to, to promote to, to new Wikimedians who are joining is to think uh, both in encyclopedic way for the articles, but also in just machine readable, accessible way to produce at least Wikidata items and, and produce at least Wikimedia uh, uploads for the time being until the kind of encyclopedic entries become more easy to create. Uh, I, I'm going to skip uh, Creative Commons discussions, uh, categorization and data modeling. There is a wiki project uh, on, on Wikidata that is specifically focused on uh, civil society networks that I will be sharing uh, as a link. And what were the, the, the biggest learnings in this is that we, we had to start uh, much slower and much more modest than we initially thought. Uh, we needed to coordinate with a lot of people uh, on, on uh, methods. Unfortunately, not many people are interested in contemporary culture and especially in marginalized uh, contemporary culture. And uh, we needed to, to find uh, resources that are already uh, well um, organized that are part of existing community archives or part of documentation centers. Yeah, I'm very interested in what other people have been doing in this field or in, in this wannabe field because it still doesn't really exist as a notion. Uh, unlike uh, um, Wikimedia user group uh, classics that has a, has a very specific uh, kind of focus on antique uh, kind of uh, classical uh, culture. Um, Wikimedia doesn't have a group that would deal with modernity and with contemporary uh, 
con uh, contributions. So yeah, if anyone is interested in creating something equivalent to uh, Wikimedia user group classics, uh, but focusing on modern and contemporary, please get in touch. And if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Uh, I'm wrapping up the presentation and I would love to uh, see if, if you, ah, people did not sign in to the Etherpad. The Etherpad link uh, got uh, distributed or not? Uh, yeah, if you are if you are interested in this topic, uh, I would love to uh, keep in touch, and then uh, we can maybe do a session that is not tied into the very short uh, conference format that we have now. Uh, is, are there any questions? Uh, if not, uh, yeah, I, I will just remain available on the contacts as you can see in the listing of the session.